results just in tonight here at the live desk in the race for the White House as we continue to track the latest numbers for you tonight. Just called moments ago, we've been closely watching this one. Donald Trump winning North Carolina and its 16 electoral college votes. The former president now expanding his lead over Kamala Harris tonight, 230 to her 179 electoral votes. Still a lot of other states with a lot of votes still on the table now. However, though, Trump is now just 40 votes shy of the necessary 270. Now, this is a state both candidates spent a significant amount of time on. In fact, both campaigns really focusing in on North Carolina, specifically Western North Carolina, in its recovery and aftermath from Hurricane Helene. All right, we want to go back out to our voters now. Jeff Harris joining us with six of them tonight. A lot has happened uh, since we last spoke. I just saw that map from Ryan showed a lot of red on there. Tell us uh, how are voters reacting? Uh, obviously mixed reactions here, Didi, but I will start here with Walter. Open, grown. You saw North Carolina, what Ryan Smith just said at the live desk. Obviously displeased with the result that just came in, right? Well, I just, it scares me to think that uh, people are willing to overlook a convicted felon, a someone who has insulted and has spewed hate and in, empower other people to feel it's okay to insult uh, the American public. And it feels that the, the enemy within, it's okay to use the military. So it really is uh, very difficult to accept that. Uh, but if it's a democracy in which people accept an autocrat, a uh, mm -hmm. Francis, uh, someone who would be a dick, want to be a dictator, and he's told us so, then I do find uh, that it's difficult to accept that. And I, I am shaking my head because I hope that doesn't happen. And Dwight, I, you know, even during the commercial yeah. break, everybody was kind of going back and forth here. Again, I'm going to use the word lively because that's what the discussion was and that's exactly yeah. why we're here. I've, but you're talking about the dangerous rhetoric yeah, in I, general that's I being put out there. I the, find calling him a fascist and calling him a dictator. Stuff like that is what led to the two assassination attempts. The fact is that when you keep dehumanizing, and this is the thing that Goebbels used to do, the Nazis used to do this, dehumanize people to so they become not human beings. They're just, oh, he's a Nazi, it's okay to come. I saw like about an hour after the Butler shooting on Facebook, normal people, oh, dang, she missed, he missed. Or, uh, be a better shot next time and they justified it by saying well what's okay to kill Hitler isn't it wouldn't you kill Hitler and when you keep calling Donald Trump Hitler he's talking about the yeah. dangerous rhetoric yeah. there Stephanie you want to chime in yeah I do um, first of all the person that the persons that allegedly attempted uh, assassination were Republicans Okay, let's let's get but that why straight. Does that matter? No, I mean, no, because the first the, someone... the point is is that is that his 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 um, rhetoric and the the venom that he spews, right? It infects people, and some people get tired of what he's saying, and he doesn't even have respect for the office of the presidency. Mm -hmm. He has right. no respect for the office of the presidency. If he did, he would conduct himself in a better manner. Well, and Abby, you're saying, why does it matter in general? Why are you saying well, that? Well, it just seems really... To claim that one of his own supporters would try to kill him does not... It doesn't resonate with me. That it, why, why do we care what party they were or they weren't, someone tried to kill someone else. Like, that's the bottom line. It's, it it's bad. And, and I'm so that. You're saying All that it matters because you just chimed in. But he it said. It absolutely matters. I mean, it absolutely matters because he is the one that's attracting these these people to kill him? Well, absolutely. By spitting the when vitriolic the hate that he's spewing. Of course. Comments. He's not speaking about peace, okay, at these rallies. He's speaking Have about hate. Have you been hate. to one? Have I've, you been to I've, one of these I've, rallies? I've watched them, and let's, let me tell you, they, they're two hours way too long, but I've watched them. And let me tell you, he's spewing hate, and most of the time he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just going, he does the weave, it's not really a weave, right. he just doesn't know what he's talking about. And also, too, the thing is, is that they tried to say that it was the Democrats that had attempted to assassinate him. Which is not but again, the is a killer. Like, when it's not like it's a party, it and so be. comments that give any Semites on college campuses uh, basically aiding comfort to spit upon Jewish students that go to schools uh, when they make the claim river to the sea that is very anti-semitic in rhetoric and Kamala Harris is yet to condemn those types of anti-semitic rhetorics now is she responsible for uh, when every time for every attack on a Jewish student on a college campus I mean, the way you guys are saying that President Trump is responsible for any time a hate crime happens in the country, it's 
President Trump's fault. Who's saying I that? don't think anybody said that. I think you guys are That's implying not, that. No, so no, you're, you're missing are, the point. You are implying that. What is the point, you Stephanie? The point is, is that there is such, there is such a bubble around around a group of people who claim that they want a democracy, but yet and still, you have somebody who lifts up Putin, who lifts up Kim Jong Un, right? Yeah. who lifts up Ergon, you, you have somebody who lifts up all these dictators, but you claim you want to be in a democracy. You, you have a hissy fit because a, a young, a, a, when Kaepernick took a knee for equality for people of color, you took a knee for that and said, he's against America, he's against the flag. He was not against America, he was not against the flag. But you got somebody here that forgets that he represents, he's supposed to represent all the people. Quick show of hands, I just want to see who agrees with Stephanie here and then obviously who disagrees as well. So agrees I mean, with Stephanie. something that really sticks with me is the image of Trump saluting one of Kim Jong-un's military leaders. Yes. That was so shocking and dismaying. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, ugh, the repeated offenses against the American people. Yes. God. You get to pass. And this discussion will continue when we circle back, of course, hear voters' voice throughout the evening here on the National News Desk. DD, lively conversations happening throughout the night, of course, on many different topics here, especially now getting even a little more lively as the results start to filter in. Yeah, definitely. And you're starting to get a sense, too, of the different values going beyond the economy and the numbers. But what, what is truly important to Americans? Uh, Jeff, thank you. We'll continue this conversation soon. But first, we want to take a live